Mein the needs of the patient are very close to my own heart. I'm driven by the hope that the work we're doing in basic research will someday actually benefit patients and humanity. Cardiologist Andreas Zaya has been investigating and developing cell therapy for heart attack patients for 13 years. His original idea, the body's own bone marrow stem cells could be introduced into damaged heart tissue where they could develop into new muscle cells. Over time, however, there have been new insights. In the beginning, certainly, we were a little naive. We thought that some of the cells might be able to transform into heart muscle cells, into cells that actually play a role in the heart's pumping action. We've had to let go of that idea, but we do know that these cells release many growth and support factors that then stimulate the heart's self-healing ability and thereby lead to functional improvement. It is possible that substances released by the bone marrow stem cells into their environment near the heart, as well as the formation of new blood vessels, may play a role in this regeneration process. In the heart catheter laboratory of the University Hospital Frankfurt, cell therapy is being used and tested further in heart attack patients. The method is most effective in patients who have had a second heart attack or in whom the infarction has damaged the heart very severely. The idea is to replace as much destroyed tissue as possible. To do this, the body's own cells are transplanted when surgically implanting a stent into the heart. A thin wire reaches the destroyed tissue in the heart via a catheter, and the contrast agent is clearly visible as it flows through the veins. A balloon is inflated through a catheter in the area of the stent and releases bone marrow from the patient into the destroyed tissue. After a waiting period, the procedure is repeated at later points in time. The stem cells do not create new heart muscle tissue. But what we know is that these cells can form blood vessels and contribute to the sprouting of blood vessels. And they actually get built into the vascular wall there too. However, the primary effect is definitely the stimulation or support of the heart's own natural ability to repair itself. A large multi-center European study that Andreas Zaya helped implement is seeking to prove this effect statistically. Promising research findings are being tested in complex clinical studies to see whether they have therapeutic potential with real results for patients. The first phase of a clinical study focuses only on patient safety, with the goal of excluding negative effects, while phases two and three focus on novel positive effects. In the current cell therapy study, thousands of patients are being treated with stem cells from their own bodies to see if their quality of life changes in a positive way. However, the path from basic research to verifiably effective treatment is a long one. By 2019, we'll be able to say whether this really helps patients live longer after a heart attack, whether they'll have a better quality of life, and whether this is a treatment that can really benefit all patients.